Okay, uh, we're out here at a little truck stop in Wisconsin, just outside of Green Bay. Um, we're going to talk about winches today. Uh, you saw in the last video, the end of the last video, I tore up a tire with a, uh, a winch. And um, we're going to go ahead and see if we can fix that problem today. Let's, uh, let's go back here first. And uh, for you guys that didn't see the last video, I'll show you what happened. So I usually store my winches like this and then I take a bungee and I secure it up there and it keeps the winches from moving around. But what had happened is this bungee had broke and one of my winches had worked its way back to the back. And when I was loaded, the trailer squats down a little bit. Plus when I let the air out of the rear airbags, trailer squats down a little bit more. And this winch had dug into this tire. So we're going to solve that problem. So that's a position about where that, uh, that winch dug into the tire. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it to where that winch can't go past that point right there. But we're also going to put a winch in the corner back here. Um, when I haul insulation, uh, I usually need a winch in this back corner. And the winch in this corner works a lot better because you can see where the uh, the winch hole is right there for the bar. If I do it on the other side, it's over here. So anyway, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put something there to stop it from sliding. And then we'll put something here because this would be the last winch position right there. It's winch right there. So if I end up in a situation where I have to use a piece of securement, a four inch strap on any of this area right there. I have these options over here and you guys have seen me use these before. This is called a pocket winch and it goes into what the, the stake pocket like that. It locks in there. You see how it locks in there. I usually use this when the strap is pulling straight up and down. I try not to use it when the strap is going this way because uh, it puts a lot of tension on the bottom of the pocket. When I have a strap or when I need a strap at a different angle, I have a four inch right here, a four inch ratchet strap that the uh, strip will go through. Hang on a second. I'll drop it. So it drops down in there like that. Flip it up just like a winch or just like a strap. So I have these options if I end up needing to put a piece of securement in the area where I can't put a winch. Now I don't like to put my winches over this tire right here and I don't like to put my winches over this tire. Now if for some reason a winch should end up in this area it probably will not hit this tire. Um, so I'm not going to worry about trying to keep a winch from going this area because um, I need to be able to slide them around. Now, on this side of the trailer, I have six winches. Three there and three here. On the other side of the winch, or the other side of the trailer, I have, what's that, eight plus six. So that's 14 winches. So I have a total of 20 winches. Now, when I bought this trailer, I had the intention of putting 10 on each side. But what had happened on this trailer, it has two different winch tracks. And I believe that this winch track was added at a later time. Um, you can see how this winch track is different right there. And then let's go around the other side. Hang on, I don't mean to make you guys dizzy. And then on this side here, you can see how the winch track is kind of built in to this. So this, this is one whole piece that goes up the side right there. Whereas on the other side, it was a track. So you can see how it's designed a little different. All it has is one groove. All right, let's go back to the other side, hang on. So after I bought this trailer and I knew I wanted more winches, I had took a winch off of this side here, this track, and said, hey, I went in there and I need 12 more of these or 14 more of these. So I would have a total of 20 winches. And as you can see, see how the track's different? So this is the winch on the driver's side. So it's got a single groove. And this is what they call a double L. Because if you see right there. And the way these attach, 
is they slide up in there like that. And that's how they slide on the track. And the same one, same way works on the other side. So that's a little, little info on the winches. And that's why most of my winches are on the passenger or passenger side is uh, because of that mistake years ago when I bought all the same winches. All right, I have the power cord out in the drill. Oh, hang on, let's go back over here. <laughs> hang on. So I got the drill plugged into the inverter, which is right there. Uh, and then uh, we'll get the drill. And my idea is, since I had a lot of people that say use cotter pins and some other things, but I only have what I have on hand. And this is the, the hook off of bungee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole right there and then hook that through there and then that will hang like that. And then that will keep, and I'll crimp it a little bit, and that'll keep the winches from sliding where they're not supposed to. So uh, we're gonna uh, put one in the backpack here so that uh, a winch can't slide to uh, this far position. So we'll line it up to where a winch can't go past this point right there. So we don't want a winch to be able to go back there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. We're gonna put one here and we're just gonna leave this winch in this position right here. So it should be okay. And then uh, we'll do the same thing here. We'll put a little hook right there and uh, that'll be the furthest position that this winch will be able to slide to. And then, but I will keep them stored. Uh, I do keep them stored with the little bungee on there. Keep them from rolling around, bouncing around. So let me, uh, let me get the drill out and uh, I got a marker. We'll mark the little holes and get it set up. See what it looks like. Worst case, I'll put these little hooks in there. If it doesn't look good or whatever, when I get home, we'll put a bolt in there. So let me get all that done and uh, we'll check in and see what the pro final product looks like. All right, uh, we got it done. It's not pretty, but uh, I think it will definitely serve the purpose. We'll, uh, we'll take a look at what we got here. So they uh, definitely will not get over the tire. So, uh, so I ended up drilling a hole and putting a little hook in there. Now, like I said, it's not pretty, but uh, it gets the job done. Um, now, the, it, the tire will never go that far up. It, it'll hit this before it ever gets to that, so you don't have to worry about uh, that. And if it ever gets that far up, I got bigger problems than that. So that's what it'll look like. So it'll stop it from uh, sliding right like that. And then, uh, and then it can still get to that last pocket position right there. So I can drop a strap in right there. But I always keep them right up there. And then in the back here, I went ahead and put one in the back. And like I said, uh, when I haul insulation, it's usually right to the edge of the trailer. And I always put a strap right on the end there. Uh, so we put that back there. Same kind of thing. Got the, the, the little hook right there. And it, it's not going to move forward. And that tire is not going to go that far up. So... Uh, like I said, it have to, for it to reach right there, it almost have to touch the bottom of the trailer. So that won't happen. So that'll be good right there. And then on the other side over here, I just uh, I just put one right there, and then that will stop it from going over the tire. And then back here, uh, I didn't put anything over here because you see where the the, uh, the holes are for the winch. Well, by the time I put one under here, it's stuck under there. So uh, that's why I just use that side. So that's it for today. I clean up my mess. But uh, anyway, lesson learned with the uh, the winch and the new tire. I got a pretty good deal on the tire. The tire was uh, $300. And then with tax and mounting and everything else, final out the door price was $398 for a brand new steer tire on the trailer and it's the same kind those roadmasters that i like to get so uh 
we're gonna be stuck at this place for us today Saturday Sunday they, they say they have showers in here it's like a little casino truck stop right there nice and quiet nobody here so it's gonna be great all right get out son all right that's it thanks for watching talk to you guys later